everyone. This week I was thinking about looking at the headlines in the Sunday newspapers, but they're all the same, really. All about how Boris is on the road to Damascus. Road to demask us. Anyway. So anyway, let's look at the other front page things going on. The Telegraph have a story about how Prince Charles wants to save the planet by ditching scientific jargon. You would have done better doing that 25 years ago, before words like velocity, underpass and blood alcohol were known by Parisian scientists. It also behind the times, though. Scientists stopped using terms like global warming years ago after they realised they could call it climate change and use hot or cold weather as evidence. The mail, they've got a tribute to Captain Tom, who passed away from corona, which was sad and he was ill, but many people thought he would walk it. You know, one of my regrets, personally, is that he didn't get promoted to Major Tom. That would have been a good laugh, especially if David Boy was still alive. But sad news nonetheless, although 100, not exactly unexpected. I did read it a few weeks ago. A man was arrested and charged with attempted murder outside Captain Tom's house after he was seen inflating a crisp packet. But yes, sad news for the family, especially after they realise he left all his house and his money to the NHS. The Express, the Mirror, the People and the Star are advertising £9 off at Iceland. Apparently on the condition you spend £50, and that's a heck of a lot of money to spend at Iceland. Well, you know, when they're selling frozen turkeys for three quid, where are you going to store £50 worth of produce? And anyway, how are you supposed to get to Iceland now that all the international flights are cancelled? The Observer, they've got a lead article about how EU trade has done 68% due to Brexit. And then in a detail, it's revealed that the number is comparing January this year to January last year. Hmm, I wonder if anything happened last year that might have also affected trade. But it's okay, the people have an article, quote, Margot Robbie as you've never seen her before. Well, the last thing I saw her in was Suicide Squad, so perhaps they're giving away a DVD where she acts in a film with a coherent screenplay. I don't think I've seen her in something like that before. And actually, while we're on the subject of the Sunday People, I see it has a little tagline next to the logo saying, quote, proud to be independent, which is kind of weird because I thought that was already claimed by The Independent. I don't know, given the state of the newspaper industry, maybe she's just switched it to be, quote, proud to be in circulation. Or just replace it with a little note telling you what page the Hagar the Horrible cartoon is on. I'm quite a fan of Hagar the Horrible, and I always thought that one of the worst editorial decisions made by the Murdoch press was when they discontinued the Fun Day Times cartoon supplement. Phone hacking was bad, of course, but as Maud Flanders once said, won't someone think of the children? And just looking at the BBC's website, I've got a story expressing their profound concern about the Lib Dems now having a policy of possibly accepting the result of the Brexit referendum. Apparently, they want to be pro-EU, but not a party that's going to campaign to rejoin it. But with 11 MPs, I don't many people really care at this stage. They've got few enough MPs that if half the Westminster colleagues got together in a room, they wouldn't even break the social distancing rules. And right now, their electoral prospects remain about as dim as those energy-saving light bulbs they love so much. Anyway, see you next week. Please like these, click subscribe.